Hello everybody, welcome. Now, we're on to this again today. Good old Jamie. Yes. For this recipe I'm going to do, but I'm going to put my own seasoning in. Because this seasoning is rubbish. So, what I'm going to do today is, and I've lost the page now. Bear with me. I'm going to do minced beef wellington so basically it's a pasty in it that's what it is according to our jamie so minced beef west wellington simple to make so i put my own seasoning in it uh let me see what it comes out like so let me show you what i got all right i got myself one carrot one celery and two chestnut mushrooms, all cut up about the same size, roughly. I've got myself one potato, cut up about the same size, so I just put that in water, stop it going brown. One large onion, a uh, little bit of garlic, crushed up, some uh, rosemary, salt and pepper, and I'm going to put in a bit of paprika and a bit of Worcester sauce. To get the flavour. Right, well, first things first. I also forgot to tell you, I did get the mince. It's been in the fridge. I'm just taking that out now. Uh, so you want a little bit of oil in the bottom of this, apparently, in the pan. And get all your stuff in, apart from your mince. Get that warmed up. Get it all in. Cook it up for about eight minutes. I'm also going to do some roast potatoes. We're asked because we're going to have this for tea. Uh, but I'm not going to show you doing them. I'm just I'm more interested in this minced beef Wellington pasty thing. So let's just pile it all in together. I would have done the onions first really, but so I get the whole lot in on a medium to low heat. So turn that down a little bit. Garlic. So uh, rosemary. Onions. I should have put the onions in first, but never mind. It's all going to cook. Well, it's been about five minutes so far. I think it's going to take a bit longer than eight minutes. But I'm just going to put a, bit, a little bit of salt in. Not a lot, though. Because I'm going to salt the meat. And I don't want it to be too, too over salty. Right, that's done. It's just started to change colour. As it says in the book. Now I'm going to leave that to go completely cold. So I'm just going to put it in there to get any excess fat off or any juice. Right, that's cooled down now. It's all cooled down. So, and I've got I've got my mince. When it says use 400, you're going at 750, so I don't think I'll use all that. Uh, then I'll, uh, well, I might use it all and then just save some. If it's nice, I can always do another one then. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to get the mince in anyway. And it also says, just use half an egg. I think, don't think half an egg is going to be enough. You just wash my hands. So I've done two eggs. We're going to need some for the egg wash anyway. So let's break the meat up first. I'm going to put all this in. Quite a lot here though. Quite a lot. I need a big bowl. Uh, wash my hands again before I touch my uh, seasoning. Now I want some Worcester sauce. I'll put the paprika on first actually. Smoke paprika. Love it. Is that smoke one? Yeah, that's smoke one. Get it on. Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce, whatever you want to call it. And some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to add some egg. And then we're going to mix it together. I'll put half of this egg in. And I'll see. If I have to get more, I'll get more. Put that much in. And I'll give it a mix. Got the builders out the back again. Shut 
cannot win that. I'll incorporate all this. Well, I incorporated all that, but it is a bit runny now, to be fair. Um, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get some cling film. I'm going to put in some cling film in the fridge for half an hour. So I'm going to roll it up as tight as I can. I mean, it might be a bit too much here, but it's all fun in it. Well, I'm going to put that in the fridge for half an hour. I've got loads left. Oh, let me show you. I've got half left, look. Well, that's been in the fridge for half an hour. I'm going to open the pastry case up now. I'm going to get that on a thingy. On a tray. I'll put some extra stuff on there. Let's get this opened up. There it is. Sweating I am. Who's hot today? I'm boiling. It's a bit cloudy out, but I'm absolutely sweating. And that's gone to get her hair cut. So she'll come back bald. She's having it all cut off. Does look nice when she has it done though. She's had it done about once every six months. Right, let me just wash my hands. Oh, I must move that across. There, let me just wash my hands. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of a egg wash all around it. It's not really a uh, beef wellington, is it? It's more like a pasty, isn't it? Well, I suppose it could be a budget one, I suppose. Right, and I'm going to roll that. I'm going to have to move it out of the way a little bit, I think. You can see. There you go. I might be in your way a bit here while I roll it, but not much I can do. Around there. Take that off. Keep it tight and roll. Put some egg wash on the bottom there first. And the same goes underneath. Uh, put a bit on the edges as well. Pull a bit on the edges. Spin it round. Take this off. Cover the top. They're quite big actually. And they're going to puff up as well, ain't they? Squash the ends together and roll under. A bit like a sausage roll. Not a sausage roll, yeah, look, like sausage roll. There we go. And it says, it doesn't say anything about putting an hole in the middle, but I'm going to anyway. And it says, pull it in for an hour, 180 degrees. Right. It's done. Um, but I've run into a bit of a problem. I flipped it over halfway through. And as I flipped it over, it all squashed. I was trying to get the bottom done. Well, let me show you. Anyway, I'll put them back in a little bit. Look at them beauties. There's a lot of grease on them though. See under there? And that one, it is cooked, but it's it's all it's, it's like wet. It's like grease off the... Uh, off the mince. That's the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get it off. 
I'm going to cut it open anyway and we'll have a look. Well, they look huge, you know, the size of them things. Right, so there it is. I've got it off. I did do two because I had loads left over. So I wonder whether that's because they was too close together on the pan, on the tray. Let me know. You know, I'm not with pastry. But they've been in like an hour and a half. So I can't give them any longer. Well, anyway, let's cut it open. And have a look. Uh, let's get a crunchy bit. It's very, very oily. I only got the 5% uh, beef, like so. There it is. So it seems it's a little bit raw at the bottom there, look. I may have turned it over. And all the stuff was wet. Uh, wet was cold when I put it together. Got a fly there now, look. Anyway, let's give it a taste test and see. Right, so I'm just going to taste it anyway. You know what I'm like, but mind you, I don't know, that, that might be the potato at the bottom there. I can't, I can't like to cook it well. I'm going to eat it anyway and we'll see what happens. Just like a Cornish pasty. A big Cornish pasty, innit? That's all it is. I've seasoned it okay. Well, it's got a fly there. Well, it's just a Cornish pasty. It's no beef Wellington, is it? It's beef Wellington. It's nice. I can taste the paprika and that. Well, there you go. Something simple. Well, it weren't simple. So, boy, I trying to get it cooked properly. It was lovely and flaky. I say, you see, you can probably see there, can't you? I don't know if that's the fat off the uh, the meat or what. Let me know. Because I was waiting for that to crisp up, but it ain't just ain't crisping. Anyway, there we go. I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bloody pastry.